Hello, I greet you. Today I would like to discuss the click speed or the extension speed with you. A very, very important topic. The topic that concerns most people to some extent because it has a significant impact on the extension period. The extension duration, the time spent in extension. As a fundamental matter, I simply have to say or rather introducing that the extension duration or the period of extension is not really relevant to me at first. That means the worst thing they can do is to extend or rush towards a specific date at breakneck speed because then they will certainly not be at the level where I would like them to be, namely at a balanced or even level in the extension between bony extension and muscular extension because that's where I directly focus. That means I will balance them with the extension and the extension speed to a level where they can absorb it 100% muscularly. I have already explained and discussed all of this in the previous videos. In this video, I just want to clearly and concisely address that your individual rate of extension speed depends significantly on how much extension you can absorb muscularly per day. And that depends on very, very many factors. These are incredible differences. On one hand, genetically, how is their soft tissue or soft tissue configuration? Then, of course, it depends on how much time they can spend on stretching exercises throughout the day, hour by hour. You can't necessarily stretch harder, but you can only stretch longer in terms of time. And that naturally makes a significant difference, whether you stretch for three hours a day or five or six hours a day. And it makes a big difference whether they are working a 100% job, a 50% job, dedicate their day to stretching exercises or have a family or other jobs or activities on the side. This makes a huge difference in terms of the tension they can fundamentally absorb and accordingly how many clicks they can ultimately make and what extension speed they can essentially achieve significantly. Clicks, I'll show it again here on the screen, one click is exactly 0.052 mm. That means 20 clicks reflect 1 mm, 10 clicks are half a mm. The standard procedure in 2001 for an extension speed in the thigh area is such that we can initially go relatively high with the extension speed. That means over a short period we go up to 15 clicks, which is approximately 3 quarters of a millimeter per day. The background is they come into the whole procedure with a certain indeed reserve flexibility actually. That means at the beginning their muscles are not tightly stretched like a guitar string but they have a certain flexibility. And I want to take advantage of this flexibility first. That means at the beginning you can extend a bit faster until you slowly reach the tension level. However, the tension level will appear relatively quickly especially in the thigh area. So after the initial phase we reduce to an extension speed of half a millimeter per day. Because I don't want them to rush into the tension phase at a very high speed, so to speak, but rather they should be gradually introduced to it in a controlled manner in order to ensure a smooth transition. If they get in there quickly, it can rapidly lead to the development of muscular deficits in a timely manner. And compensating for these muscular deficits is practically impossible during the extension period because new tension is added every single day. That means they would then have to start releasing more than 100% of the preload and that is nearly impossible. That means, especially in this phase when the tension arises, they must remain upright, the legs must stay nicely together and when they feel the tension, or rather in the tension phase, approximately one and a half centimeters in the thigh area, and then want to increase the speed, that is absolutely no problem. Then we slowly and gradually and incrementally increase the speed, generally one to two clicks per week, because the clinic of increased tension, that is the clinic of more clicks, always takes approximately around four to five days until they can also feel it muscularly and physically as well. And the same applies when they reduce. If they notice they have too high a speed, they can't cope with the tension and then reduce the click speed, it will also take four or five days until they feel some relief and consequently feel less tension. In general, this is typically what happens. That means any change in the click speed in the click speed has a delayed and noticeable effect on your clinic. I have to honestly tell you, 80 to 90% of my patients feel wonderfully comfortable with an average click speed of 10 clicks, 2021 plus or minus two clicks per day throughout the entire extension period. That is approximately the speed range between approximately 0.4 and 0.6 mm per day. 
At that point, most patients can walk well, they can reduce their pain medication, they sleep well at night, and then it is not a problem at all to endure the extension period over a longer duration. In the end, it doesn't make much of a difference, maybe a week or two afterwards, whether they extend by half a mm per day or 0.6 mm per day. However, it makes a huge difference during the extension because they can control it much, much better in terms of tension. Nevertheless, I will not push them down to low levels if they can absolutely compensate for it at all. That means my individual patients have a click speed of approximately about 8 clicks up to 18 clicks per minute. There are patients who can absorb this very well genetically and muscularly if they can make more clicks. If nevertheless they manage to be in good condition with a higher speed, meaning being upright without muscular deficits, then I will be the last person to push them down in any way. But they must not escalate it quickly and they need to operate from a good baseline, otherwise it will gradually lead to a muscular deficit. Otherwise, if they want to stay at a safe level, a click speed of half a mm per day has proven effective. Honestly, most of my patients do that and feel very, very good about it. In the lower leg area, it's a bit different compared to the thigh area. In the lower leg area, the level is flat. This is because in the lower leg area, they certainly cannot click at such high speeds, also considering nerve stretching. I would expect a click speed between 8 and 10 clicks, which means between 0.4 and 0.5 mm per day. They really shouldn't do more than that. And most patients already feel, due to the increased tension in the muscular area and partly in the nerve area, that this speed is sufficient for them. That means the extension duration is correspondingly a bit longer in the lower leg area. But these are the guidelines I would follow. I would definitely advise against calculating with 1 mm per day. I find that much too fast for the majority of my patients, much, much too fast. I would initially base my calculation on an extension speed of half a minute per day. I would not set fixed times for the end of the extension period at this moment. I don't want my patients to feel pressured if they realize they can't maintain this extension speed because that would be the worst. And I would then first calculate with the half mm, so you are always on the comfortable side within the extension. Thank you very much.